Do you hear that? <laughs> you can kind of hear it. With your tax deadline now 10 days away, the pressure is on to get it done. If you have waited until the last minute this year, financial expert Brad Allen with WealthWisconsin.com is here with important things not to forget. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm sure there's a lot of people asking you lots of questions. So the first one is going to be, what's the number one thing that procrastinators should focus on when they're putting their taxes together? You say incorrect social security numbers is a big common mistake. Yeah, the number, the number one thing you want to focus on is just taking your time, taking a step back, don't rush it. Uh, you want to make sure you do it right the first time, <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. so you don't have problems going going forward in the future. And there's also, is there, is our math calculations, does that happen? Yeah, often? a lot of the mistakes we see, like you said, are the social security numbers. Uh, there's a lot of common math mistakes that we see. So it's just people trying to rush too so much and not taking their time. Even if you go on TurboTax, can you make a mistake? TurboTax is going to be a little bit different. They're going to help you out and kind of walk you through that process. But when you're doing it on, on paper, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. You know, a lot of the other things that we see are writing their signatures or forgetting signatures, mis misspelling their names, because they're in such a rush <laughs> to get so it done. Nervous. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure, just take your time, take a deep breath, relax. And what is new on this year's tax form? You know, I didn't even realize the changes to the contribution for limits on HSA, also Affordable Care Act penalties increased. Yeah, Affordable Care Act uh, penalties increased again this year. They're expecting it again next year as well, so keep that in mind for 2016. But yeah, they, they increased, uh, so if you don't have qualified health care coverage right now, the tax penalties have increased for that. HSA has gone up $100 this year. It's went up to $6,750. And then the head of household also changed. It went up $50 to 9300 Okay, and then what is the deadline to ask for an extension? The deadline's a little bit different this year. Uh, usually it's the 15th, but this year there is a holiday, Emancipation Day on the mm -hmm. 15th. So they've moved it back to the 18th. So that's Monday at 11.59 p.m. And it's not frowned upon by the IRS to ask for an extension, right? No, not at all. It's not frowned upon. They actually prefer it rather than, you know, doing it really quickly and having mistakes made. They prefer that you take your time, do it right. Um, there's no penalties for, for, for filing that at all. Uh, you have six months to do it. The one thing you want to make sure is that if you think you do owe money, uh, you're going to have to pay that by the 18th at 11.59 p.m. So you kind of have to guess how much you're going to owe um, and make sure that gets in. Otherwise, there's going to be some penalties and with that. And I didn't, I didn't know that. I always file it on time. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Brad Allen with WealthWisconsin.com, thanks so much for waking up with us. If you'd like to get a hold of WealthWisconsin.com for helpful reminders, we have a link to the experts page in the link section of TMJ4.com slash links. Thanks so much again Thank for waking you. up with us. I appreciate it.